Welcome to another vlog Wednesday. So I'm going to share some things today that I didn't share last week because I just ran out of time. I did not want to have a 30 minute vlog. So if you've not seen last week's vlog, I will leave it in the card above. So I'm going to share my Halloween decorations today. I actually got some covers in that I need to go ahead and get ready to list. So I'll share those with you in just a second. And we're probably gonna go ahead and pack the bag that I shared in Monday's Jujube Disney collaboration video. I am ready to start using that. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get that probably switched over this afternoon. I can tell you I'm not feeling really great today. I think the change of weather has really gotten me. Like my face is hurting. This happens every time the weather changes. Like I've got a sweatshirt on today. I wish that Disney would offer more of these sweatshirts. I got this on our Disney vacation last December, and I just wish the website would offer things like this because this is one of my favorite sweatshirts. But I'm just feeling just stopped up and I've nasal spray. I had to do cough drops in the middle of the night last night. My throat's dry. The change of weather is here and it's just taking a toll on me like it always does. It's not COVID, it's, this happens every single year. Like I can feel the pressure under my eyes and all of that. So, I can tell you I'm hungry. I've got the oven going for me and Derek to have some chicken strips and fries. We're the only two here today or at the moment. Say good morning. Good morning. Kate is at cheer and Nathan is working because we are in the middle of football season. So he works seven days a week, like I've told you guys. So while I'm waiting for the oven to go off, I want to share with you the covers that came in this morning. So FedEx actually brought these to me on a Sunday. Okay, so out of the blue a few weeks ago, I came up with this idea that I was going to do some quotes for some movies on some planner covers. So these are just four of the start. So I did two from Legally Blonde, which is one of my favorite movies. Whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. And y'all, you have to do pink. I've got Mean Girls and I've got Legally Blonde. Both of those you have to do pink. So if you're not a pink person, I apologize, but you just, you know, those two movies have to be pink. Then this one, Live Every Day Like Elle Woods, when Warner told her she wasn't smart enough for law school. If you've never seen Legally Blonde, you guys, it is one of my all-time favorites. I love Reese Witherspoon as well. This one, another Christmas one, Love Came Down, Luke 2.11. Got one in here for Valentine's Day. It says love. It's a gray background. On Wednesdays, we wear pink from Mean Girls. I just, I don't know. All of a sudden, this popped into my head to do some quotes from some movies. I've started the notebook. Some quotes from that. I'm a mouse, duh. You go, Glen Coco. Mean girl is butter a carb, and that's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. So, I love these. So, hopefully, I'll get those ready to go and get posted today. Hopefully. We'll see. While we're waiting for the food to get ready to go in, the oven's still preheating. I want to share with you my Halloween decorations, so I won't forget that. So let's start right here. If you've never seen this in my kitchen, this is a Better Homes and Gardens bookcase. My mom got it for me a few years ago for my birthday. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So I've got it decked out for Halloween. So a lot of this stuff is new this year. So I like to add to my decorations every year and I love how this turned out. So I've got the Maleficent Funko. This is the Frankenstein Mickey Jim Shore piece. So this is a new piece. This I got last year, the Poison Apple from Shop Disney. And it says, just one bite, I think. Yep, just one bite. So this is from this year. It is a candy corn mini mouse mug from Shop Disney. And look at the little ghost handle. I think it's so cute. This is, uh, I guess it's Frankenstein mini. I guess you would say. So this is this year's Jim Shore Halloween piece. This I want to say came from TJ Maxx several years ago. This Stitch pumpkin is adorable. This is from this year. Kate loves Stitch, so that's why I got this. And it turned. It's just so cute. I love it. This is a candy bowl from Shop Disney. I got this like back in August when it came out. I wanted it last year. If you notice, it's a bat. The mouth opening. 
I wanted it last year and I waited too long, so I got it immediately. This is from an Etsy shop, Hidden Valley something. I've got several of these. All this will be in the description. This is from several years ago. It's an owl from Target. So that is how I have my kitchen bookcase decorated for Halloween. This turned out so cute. Now this is just a kind of starting point. Next year I'd like to kind of add to it. So the net came from Dollar Tree. I think it was last year or the year before. The spiders came from Dollar Tree. I think I got a set of two. They're plastic. Okay, I'm messing it up. Those were two for a dollar. The skulls came from Dollar Tree as well. And I know they had these this year because I went and I looked. This came from TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year. And then all of the little black greenery came from Dollar Tree. When I went this year, I don't know if my Dollar Tree sold out of them really fast, but they didn't have any of that. So I absolutely love that. I just think it adds a little bit. This is a DIY piece that I did a few years ago. And then all of my Haunted Mansion Funkos and accessories. Now the little gravestones here came from Target last year. I only had one of them, which was this one over here. And I had a credit for Mercari and they had these for $9. So I got the set of four this year. So Target didn't come out with them. So I just ordered them on Mercari and used a coupon that I had. This is Victor. This was from Shop Disney. This is the maid. The butler and the haunted mansion. These came as a set. And then the groundskeeper. So those are the four haunted mansion pieces I got this year. And I would love to add to those next year. I just think it turned out super cute. I love it. My Mickey mug rack is still not completely finished with mugs. But I got as many as I could this year. And then I'll add to it next year. I'll share that with you in just a second. So, and then that's what that looks like. So let's go to the mugs first. So this is a zero mug. I got that from Amazon last year. I think it came from Shop Disney and it was like from two years ago, but Amazon actually had it last year for a good price. This is the villains initial mug from Shop Disney. The Haunted Mansion initial mug from, or ABC mug from Shop Disney. The poison apple mug i got that last year now some of these they still have so i will link them if not then um if they're not linked just know they're not available this is i want to say a zach designs yes this came from amazon the jack skellington and then i also got the pumpkin mickey this year off of amazon both of those came from amazon spooky came from tj maxx the Toxic came from TJ Maxx. Those were the only two Halloween mugs I was able to find. Those are the first two Halloween mugs that are the letter from Ray Dunn that I've ever been able to find, actually. This is the Haunted Mansion mug. I love it. It says Haunted Mansion on the inside. So this was from this year's collection as well. So those are my Halloween mugs that I will hopefully add to next year as well. Now to my Pottery Barn three-tier tray. When I got this, y'all, I got this somehow. They had marked them down dirt cheap, and they honored the price. I got this for $12. They had marked them wrong on the internet, and I got it. It's normally like 50 something dollars. So I will link it if you're interested. This came from Bailey's Branches on Etsy. I will link that. And I meant for it to sit up, and then I just forgot to put something in here. This came from Target a few years ago. I got that at the same time as the Owl. This is, I think, Kate's. I think there's a story behind that, but I don't know. Vampire Mickey, Jim Shore. I got that one last year. Pumpkins were last year from Target. Mickey Jack-O-Lantern. I have three of those. That was last year's version from Shop Disney, Target. And then this is Hobby Lobby. And then this pumpkin is Hobby Lobby. And then... Kate and I went, this is my Lego Disney castle. I will link it. It was expensive, but it's something I wanted and I did have some credits to use on it. So we just did some caution tape and threw some net around it just to kind of give it a little bit of a Halloween vibe. So that is my little console table and the console table is from Target. This area is a work in progress. I'll be honest because look, this is my sister's. I'll just have it up here. 
I got her the Pluto pen when I ordered mine. And y'all saw this last week on my vlog. So it's just sitting here. So y'all, this is just random right now. I have not really got this set up. But this is the Mickey Mouse cake stand. And let me be honest, I did not order this when Shop Disney had it last year. My sister, I ordered my sister one. Didn't order myself one. Then I regretted it and I ordered it off Mercari. I paid a little bit more than it was originally. So this is the other part of the Bailey's Branches little wooden sign this is the mini and the mickey was over there these are the halloween mini and mickey funkos from this year and then that is from grace inspired wood that says 31 i don't even know if that shop's still open anymore if it is i'll link it but i don't think it is so that is my little mickey cake stand and then last but not least i'm gonna take you in the hallway here at the very end of the hallway so our room is over here Kate's room is right here, and look, keeping it real. Why does Kate have this sitting here? I don't even know, you guys. I don't even know. I have to ask her about that. So her backpack's sitting in here. We got the door shut so the dog doesn't go in there and pee. Look at him. He's like, would you please open that door so I can go in there? He will pee on the floor. No joke. Okay, so this is my little table that's at the very end of the hallway. So the lighting's not so great, so I apologize for that. This is my Make-A-Wish Scentsy. It is Peter Pan, and y'all, I'm really not a huge Peter Pan fan. I don't know, it kind of creeps me out, but I really did like this Scentsy Warmer. I love the stars, and I love that it was a Make-A-Wish one, so we got two. This is the Jack Skellington Funko set. So Zero's on this other side. The Jack Skellington and the house came together. Sally is a new addition this year. Zero is a new addition this year, and then there's another one of the Mickey pumpkins candle holders, and then I just added the witch hat to my happy everything plate. So, that is my Halloween decorations for this little hallway. So those are my 2020 Halloween decorations. We slowly add to them every single year. So hopefully next year I'll be able to add more. Just depends on if they have things out and not just gonna buy something just to buy it. That's why the mug rack's not finished because I could have gotten all the Halloween mugs. But you guys, yesterday we went to Target and they had the $5 ghost mugs. They had two of them. I was gonna buy them and I had them in my hand and I put them back and I'm like, no. I told myself no more Halloween. No more Halloween. So I put them back and I thought if I want something like that, I will get it next year. So, disciplined. I was disciplined yesterday. So, that is my Halloween decorations for this year. Anything that's available, I will link in the description below. Okay, I got some Amazon packages in and some of it's for me, some of it is gifts. So, I'll go through it and I will share with you what I got for me. Not the stuff that's gifts, because I don't know if the person receiving it or people receiving them will be watching. So I'm going to go through them one at a time and see if I can share it with you. So out of everything that were in those two boxes, this is the only thing that was for me. Everything else was gifts. So this, I finally broke down and got it. It was $17.99. It was on sale. It is the Rubbermaid Brilliance 100% airtight and leak-proof smart lid system. So, the reason I got this is because I have wasted money on raspberries probably every week for a month. So, I probably could have ordered two or three of these with wasting raspberries. So, I'm going to test cleaning them and putting them in here. I buy three big things of them a week because I eat them every single day. By the time Friday rolls around, that last package, some of them are molded and rotten. So, we're going to see if this will save that last thing of raspberries every week. Okay, the second package here is my AirPods case. So before I share this with you, let me explain. Okay, let me explain. So I have been needing a pair of AirPods for a while, but I did not want to spend the money on them because I can use them as a brand item and it would go as one of the expenses for my brand because that's why I need them. I have one pair of the Apple headphones that comes with your phone at school. That's it. Like I use them at school for like when I'm at lunch, if I want to listen to a YouTube video or something like that. But at home, I have a very old pair of headphones that I use. The sound's not really well. 
So I've needed to invest in some headphones. So I finally did it this last week because I looked on the Target website and they were having the AirPods that are normally 160 on sale for 130. I've never seen AirPods on sale. Now that doesn't mean that they're not on sale sometimes, but I've never been looking for them. So I went ahead and bought some and I got myself a case. So I decided to go with the Rifle Paper Co case now this one was on sale when i got it and after jen from pretty neat living after she shared her case i went and looked at them and i really liked them so i went with this one it is the what is it print i don't even know the name of the print if i can figure out the name of the print i'll let you know but i have found that when target marks something down so does amazon because i think they're somehow kind of linked so this color or style was on sale. It's normally $25 and I got it for $19.99. So that is what I got and I will leave links to both of these things in the description below. And then I can't forget this. You guys have been so amazing recommending cheaper alternatives for some things. Somebody recommended this this summer and I wish I could give you a huge hug. This is what Armani has to take every single month. It's Denamirum, Denamirin, however you pronounce it. But it's for his liver. His enzymes are high every once in a while, I can usually tell. I was paying $45 a month. Yes, you heard me correctly, $45 a month. And one of you guys reached out to me and said that I could purchase this for like $26 on Amazon. Life saver. So that is where I have been purchasing it. So. Thank you to whoever recommended this to me because you have saved me so much money already. I'm still debating about the cabinets. Y'all gave me some good ideas. Some people told me I should just go ahead and remove the shelf. Some people said to just get a tub that's as big as this section. That would be the cheapest thing to do. Um, other people said to do the little drawer systems like we did over here. So over here we have one of those that works great, pulls in and pulls out. I think we got this from Amazon. I will link the video that we put this together. So just know that this is still in the works and I'm still planning on working on it. I just don't know if I wanna do the tubs or the drawer systems because the tubs are gonna cost what, like $7 a peach times four. I could do a drawer, pull out drawer, and then a tub at the top. So this is something that's going to get done, but I wanna make sure that I do it right the first time and don't spend money and then come back and have to redo the whole system once again. So the last two orders of business for today, for today's vlog, I am going to put my laundry up. I'm not going to share that. Y'all know how the laundry goes, especially if you watched last week's vlog. So that's like a Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, basically all weekend routine is getting the laundry done and putting that away. So I'm gonna do that once I finish that. We're gonna come back and we are going to get my B packed, packed up for school tomorrow. Okay, so now we're gonna switch to my B packed bag. So make sure if you did not watch my video Monday where I shared my unboxing of my B Disney collaboration items, I will link that in a card above. So this is what I have been using. I will also link this video in a card above. So I have been using this bag since I did the what's in my bag video uh, several months ago. I've been using this since I think April. And look, I've used it almost every day and it still looks brand new. So I've been using it as my teacher bag and everything. Right now it fits so much stuff, but we're fixing to make the switch. And I didn't realize how big it was. Look, it is almost, it's basically the same size as my B packed and I did not realize it. So. I had no idea. I thought it, it always looked smaller to me. I guess because you can kind of fold it up. That's the great thing about the La Sport Sack backpacks. Is you can fold them up and they make great additional pieces for traveling. So let's pull everything out of it so I'll share with you. So you're going to get to see how this has been packed for the last couple of months. So this little pocket on the side. I have a pen in there. This is amazing. So I did share this in my shop with me, my Target shop with me. So anything that I talk about that can't fit in a card, I'll link it in the description below. Love this stuff. 
So that is in the side. I have my chapstick. You guys know I love the cake batter chapstick. And then do I have, a, I have a receipt in there. Okay. And then my receipt. Some extra stamps. That needs to go in my bag. This was from a trip. There's my wallet. So if you haven't seen my favorite things, I'll link that in a card above. I mentioned my lug splits wallet. So I need to put my stamps in my wallet. See, I didn't know this was in here. I've got a compact, a smashed Luna bar. Hmm. And I didn't know this was in here either. So this doesn't need to go in here. This needs to go with my travel stuff. Next, and my whiteout. Why is that randomly sitting in there? I think that's it. Yep, that's it for that pocket. Now, here is my birdie. I will leave my video where I talk about my birdie in the card above if I can, if not the description below. This is what my safety um, item that goes with me. I have it on the top little grab hook or handle or whatever you want to call it. Okay, this, I'm going to keep this one here. Yes, I'm going to keep this one here. This is a BB Brook keychain. So I like to keep little bag charms on my bags. So that one goes on here. If you know some great bag charm sellers, let me know. So I've got my checkbook register and my budget planner. All of that. This needs to go in my planner. So here's my planner. My recent plan with me, I switched to this cover. I have been carrying this with me because I have been changing video topics pretty often lately. So I have this in here. This is my half boxes. I need to go and purchase some more half boxes because I'm running low. I like to keep extras because I'm always reaching for those. My budget, no, my budget planner. My content planner, this goes in my... This goes in my planner. I switched. Today's Sunday, so I'm switching to Monday. So I am part of the Ashley Designs PR team, so I'll leave that in my description. It is an affiliate code. So if you click the link and purchase at checkout, you get 15% off. And then I also get credit, some affiliate credit, if you use my link. So love Ashley Designs. I have a random notepad in there, and that needs to be in something else. That's just randomly sitting in here. My external charger, I always have that. Hair tie. Ooh, Tylenol. I think that's it. And that's it. So all of that fit in this bag, you guys. All of that fit in this bag. So, that is all for this, so I can go ahead and put this back in the closet. So, the first thing I'm going to do is add to the side pocket, and I guess that would be the bottle pocket. I usually keep my hand sanitizer and my chapstick. In the front pocket, I am going to put my splits wallet and my compact, and I know I have pins and things like that. I may end up putting those in here at the end, but for right now, I'm just going to put my wallet and my compact. And then one other thing, I'm going to go ahead and put these SD cards in here since there's a little slot right here. And I'm going to slide that right in that little bungee slot at the back. Then the big things are going to go in the main pocket. So for the main pocket, we're going to put both of my planners, my content planner, my life planner, my half box envelope, and both of these financial pieces here, my budget planner and my checkbook register. And that is what the inside looks like. And then this is perfect. Look, here is my peel organizer. And I'm going to slide that down at the side like so. I've got this little zip compartment right here. So in this little zip compartment, I think that is where I'm going to put all of my hair ties and things. I'm going to put all those in there. Like so, just in case I need those. Because believe me, either me or Kate will need those at some point. Since I don't carry the camera I'm using right now with me to school, I'm actually going to use the little tech pocket. And I am going to put my portable charger up there just so I have it. But so it is out of the way. So 
this is the little pocket right here that that's sitting in and it's still got plenty of room for something else if I need anything else to go in there so I went and got my medium B set piece and this is what I'm going to use as my little pencil pouch so I've got two of the four by six post-it notes list pads I love these they've made a favorites so look that fits in there perfectly I've got some highlighters those are going to go in here pins white out and I like to keep one of these with me because I cannot tell you how many times I've needed one and did not have one so that is what is going in the medium B set piece and then the medium B set piece fits perfectly at the very top of the bag like so and you guys now that is ready for work so I am going to end today's vlog right here. So the common question for today is going to be, tell me something that you are looking forward to in the next week. Let's get a positive conversation going in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye, bye you guys. <laughs>